Hello everyone, it's Kim here with Whiny Women doing a wine review. This is my second one for today and it's Mother's Day. And so I wanted to uh, get these reviews done before I start enjoying the rest of my evening. Um, my husband is making Alfredo, some pasta and some fresh bread and stuff like that. So um, this will be my second wine that I've picked out to do a review tonight. It is Aspen Peak Cellars Pinot Noir. Now, I have to tell you that I am not a Pinot Noir fan, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's really light, um, but I'm trying to, um, what do you call it, expand my horizons, be a little more open-minded about things, and try to taste them for what they are, not prejudge everything. So, I got, um, this was a bottle that um, Marcel with Aspen Peak Cellars gave me a couple weeks ago, and so I'm going to do a review on it tonight. And I have to tell you, I cheated. We went up to the cellar door yesterday um, to try the um, new Fusion. I think it's 285 Fusion. Um, to try the Fusion. Um, and so I tasted this because I hadn't yet tasted it. So um, right away, I, I'm sitting right here. And I smell like, it reminds me of buttered popcorn. That's how <laughs> awesome this smells. And I love when you can open a bottle of wine and the aroma is just like, Bam! They just kind of like come out at you. And, oh, yeah, this has a nice, this is not what I would know a Pinot Noir. And the only Pinot Noirs I really do know is some of the Oregon ones. And not that I'm an expert at those either, but I did taste a few of them. It has a very luscious smell. Yesterday when I smelled it up at the cellar door, it almost had a sweet like cotton candy smell to it. But I can smell the French oak on this one. Yeah, and it just it just has a really good smell. It's really hard to describe, but let's go. It's it's a good color. It's a really dark color. Um, but Pinot Noirs normally are not dark are not full not full bodied, I should say. They're generally really light on the tongue. And if this holds true for what Marcel normally produces, um, it's going to be a lighter wine. So for those of you who are not big. Um, bold red wine drinkers, Marcel's Wine, Aspen Peak Cellars, they will be a good complement to what you like. Um, they're not um, sweet wines. They may have a tiny, enough sweet that you would like it because it wouldn't be that bitter, um, full-bodied red taste. Um, but this one has incredible smell just as I'm sitting here twirling it. But these um, Aspen Peak Cellars, I, these are what I'm calling new wine lover wines because um, they are very light, they're good, they're, um, they're good for the palate of someone trying to get into drinking wines and really not sure how to start instead of starting with like the you know, Arbor Mist and stuff like that. Try one of these wines, these Colorado wines, and, um, and try them because I think you're going to like them. So let's give it a taste. And this one is light. Um, I don't think it's a different vintage from yesterday. It tastes a little bit different than yesterday, and that could just be. Um, it does have a little bit of tannins on it, which is kind of surprising, or it's kind of grippy on my tongue, which I think of tannins. So um, it's got a, a dry finish. Maybe this one might, I don't know. Pinot Noirs are normally really light. So give this one a try. This one's presenting a little bit different than I would nor normally know a Pinot Noir. It's it's light on the tongue as it goes in, and it just it lays really nice, and then it has like a little grab at the back. Um, I think this is going to go well with my pasta tonight. I'll probably end up drinking the red wine. Um, I'll probably have a glass of the white that I did earlier and the red wine, but this is really good. So I'm just a little perplexed it with the grip. I didn't think Pinot Noirs had tannins in them, but. Who knows, you know? Every wine is different. Um, it settles. Um, things happen. And so, I don't know. This one's really good, though. I like this. So, um, go out and try a bottle of... 
Sorry about that. There's going to be a gap in this video, but I hit the stop button before I was ready to stop. So anyway, go get some Aspen Peak Cellars Pinot Noir. Try it for yourself. In fact, you can go up to the cellar door up there in Woodland Park, Colorado, and you can taste it there. And that way, if you can taste all of them, then you can buy whichever ones you like. So until next time, you guys have a good Mother's Day, and I will see you. Cheers.